Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, today we're making beef enchilada casserole. And we're starting off by making our enchilada sauce. What we have here is three tablespoons of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of black pepper, half a cup of dried minced onion, one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of granulated onion, two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of oregano, and a half a cup of chili powder. To that we're gonna add a 14 ounce can of chopped tomatoes with green chilies one jar of salsa, chunk 12 ounces of your favorite Mexican beer. Give this a good mix. Alright, now we have our coal set up over indirect heat on the grill and we're going to direct sear just a plain naked four pound chuck roast. No salt, no seasoning. We'll leave the seasoning up to the braising liquid. Get a good char on it for flavor and then get it in our sauce to braise. So we'll need to give this a flip. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful crust of sear is created. That's flavor. All right, after about 15 minutes total of searing, we're gonna go ahead and put our chuck roast into our enchilada sauce. All right, after about 15 minutes, that's about all the grill flavor I need or want on this particular cut. So when we put it in to our enchilada sauce, and all I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish this off in the oven. We're gonna put it in a 325 degree oven, foil it, and let it cook until it's fork tender. Uh, at, those, at those temperatures, it should take maybe around three hours. All right, chuck roast has been in a 325 degree oven for about two and a half hours. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this and see if it's tender. Stick a fork in here. Well, that ain't tender yet. So we're gonna put it back in the oven. Gonna continue to cook. It's tender in certain spots, but it's not tender the way I like it. All right, our chuck roast has been in the oven for three and a half hours now, braising in the enchilada sauce. And the first time we pulled it out, it was not tender. This time it's plenty tender. And it's just, you're able to pull it right apart with the fork, twist it. So there we go, we're done. We're gonna go ahead and pull this apart. All right, after we shredded all our beef, we're gonna add just a little bit of cornstarch slurry into the enchilada sauce to give it a little bit of texture and body. This way you don't have an overly runny sauce with your enchiladas when they're done. So we're gonna do maybe about a quarter cup. All right, we're ready to go ahead and build our enchilada casserole or Mexican lasagna, whatever you wanna call it. So what we're gonna do is start off with just adding a little bit of sauce on the bottom of the pan here. All right, once we got a layer of sauce down, we're gonna go ahead and start adding corn tortillas. All right, let me go ahead and add another layer of meat and sauce. Spread this out. We're gonna go ahead and add a layer of Mexican blend cheese on top of this. Now we're going to do another layer of corn tortillas and we're going to repeat this process until we're filled all the way up. All right, our enchilada casserole is done and we ended up making four layers. So that's 24 shells you'll need and this is a 9 by 13 dish. So we're going to put this into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and golden brown on top. All right, and for about 30 minutes of a 350 degree oven, our enchilada casserole is done. Dig into this and see how it turned out. Layers and layers of goodness right there. Oh, it's so good. You get the subtle hint from the growing process in the beginning. It's, it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. Mmm. Delicious. Well, I hope you guys give this a try. I have to give one more bite here in front of you guys. Mm. 
Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.